everyone, this is Erin with Lift Bridge Yarns, and today I wanted to teach you the long tail cast on. The long tail cast on is my favorite all purpose cast on. Um, I use it for sweaters, shawls, anything where the edge of my fabric needs just a little bit of give, uh, but not too much, not too stretchy. That's a different cast on. For the long tail cast on, we need to estimate about how much yarn we'll need for our long tail. To do this, I like to use my working yarn and wrap it around my needle 10 times. Okay. That is about the length that we would need for 10 stitches. So if our pattern says cast on 90 stitches, we can measure this nine times to get our 90 stitches. We are not gonna cast on 90 stitches today, so let's just start with a little tail. To start, I put the tail of the yarn over my first finger, and the working yarn is coming off of my thumb. It's hanging down just like that. We're gonna grab both of those ends with our other three fingers and hold it pretty snug. You wanna keep some tension on there. It's gonna help form the stitches later. We take our needle and we rest it on the top of our yarn. And now what we're gonna do is rotate our thumb up. And if you look at the base of my thumb, you can see a hole now. We're gonna stick our needle through that hole, wrap it around, grab that yarn off of our index finger, pull it through that hole and tighten. We've got two stitches on the needle now. So again, Needles on top of that working yarn. We're gonna rotate our thumb up, bring our needle to the front, through that hole that's formed at the base of our thumb, grab that working yarn, and tighten down on the needle. And again, needle to the front, there's that hole, through the hole, grab the working yarn, tighten. You can get pretty quick at this as long as you maintain an even tension on those tails in your hand. You can do this pretty quick. One more time. Thumb up, point of your needle up through that hole, grab that working yarn, and tighten. All right, we'll see you on the next video.